Hey guys, so we're gonna take a look in this video tutorial on how to add text and how to have different fonts uh, for text and also the different options that we got here. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's delete the default queue by selecting it, hitting X and selecting delete. We do not need it in this tutorial. Now hitting shift A, we're gonna add in text right here as the tutorial implies. All right, so now let's take a look at the different options that we have for text. Going over here to our properties tab, you can see that right here we have the text options. Now, this right here is obviously the name of the object, so you could rename this to test. This right here is the preview uh, resolution for the text, so increasing this will make it smoother or you know, uh, less resolution or more resolution. If I hit Z to go into wireframe, you can see more of how it's actually affecting the T and the E. Pretty cool. And then right here, of course, we have the render resolution. Now, let's take a look at some of some more interesting options that we got down here. And if we look at geometry, we can see that we have offset, which will basically offset or thicken the text or scale it in to make it thinner. We also have the extrude, which just as the name implies, extrudes the text out. Pretty cool. So you could extrude it as far as you want. Then we have depth, which adds kind of like a bevel effect to the text. Pretty awesome. And then the resolution, which makes it basically smoother or sharper around the beveling. All right, awesome. Now let's take a look at how do we add custom text to here because this text is great, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of bland and boring. So the way we do this to add a custom text just go over here. The best website is called dafont.com or dafont.com. And we have all kinds of different texts here. Uh, if we go to cartoon, you can see we have Pokemon text. And uh, since the whole Pokemon Go thing is so popular, let's go ahead and go with this one, in fact. Just click on download. And I've already downloaded it. But once you click download, heck, I'll do it a second time. Do it with you guys. You'll get a file that's zipped. You could go ahead and unzip it. You could use it. You could use a unzipper called WinRAR or another one if you have one. And then just extract it to. And the place you want to extract it to is on your Blender folder. So you want to find your Blender uh, folder wherever it's at. Go to your Blender folder, go to data files, or uh, yeah, data files. Go to fonts, and then just click OK and save it in the fonts folder of your Blender, uh, wherever Blender is saved on your computer. So for the most part, it will be in program files, uh, computer, program files, Blender, and then go to data files, fonts, and save it in there. Right here, I'm just going to click... Uh, yes to all because I've already saved it in there, but I'm gonna Rewrite it so that it overwrites what I just saved now to change the font just go over here and click on the little folder icon right there Find wherever your blender Folder or your blender is saved on your computer Go to the data files fonts and you can see we have Pokemon Awesome, so I'm gonna select Pokemon hollow and look at that, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit Shift D now, and then Z, or sorry, not Z, Y, to bring it down on the Y axis. Let's go ahead and hit the X key to remove this font for this one. Go back to the folder, back to wherever you have the fonts, and let's load in the Pokemon Solid. And there we go. Now we have a more interesting font. We have the Pokemon font. Pretty cool. All right. Now, how do we change what this text says? Because again, 
The font is looking cool, but now the text is looking boring. So to edit your text or to change what your text says, all you do is hit tab to go into edit mode. Or it's actually not edit mode, scratch that. Tab actually goes into basically text mode so you could change the text of it. And let's go ahead and rename this to whatever you want, but I'm going to name it Pokemon. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty cool. All right. And I don't know if you guys are playing Pokemon Go. I personally am not, but uh, to each his own, you know. So Pokemon's cool. I used to play when I was a kid. All right. So now let's take a look at some of the different options that we have over here. This is the size of the text. You could also scale it with the S key. And then the sheer, which basically is the slanting or the italicizing of the font. Awesome. Now we have the position right here actually does nothing unfortunately I thought um, oh no it's the offset that I want to check out the offset position right here you could actually offset it along the X or the Y axis so pretty cool and the thickness actually does nothing either um, so right here we have the offsets and let's take a look at actually how we can turn this into a mesh now because right now it is actually a text object it is not a object that we can edit so let's say you want to and again let's take a look at the resolution a little bit more if I hit Z to go into wireframe you can see that the render resolution or the preview resolution will add a lot more loop cuts in here making it nicer pretty cool so it adds resolution only to the parts which are curved because the parts that are straight don't need extra vertices or geometry. All right, now how do we turn this into an actual um, an actual mesh? And of course, right here you have the kind of um, you can align your text however you want to align it based on you know just like in a word document left center right. Uh, based on the origin point of the text object. So let's take a look actually how to turn this into a mesh object. The way we do that, because if we hit tab, it's not edit mode, it's text mode, which we could change the text on it. All right, to turn our, our text into a mesh, all we have to do is hit Alt C, and you will see that it says mesh. We could convert a curve from mesh text or a mesh from a curve meta surface or text so we're gonna select the second option right here and once we do if we hit tab you can see that now it's going to edit mode and our mesh has been or our text has been converted to a mesh and here of course you can edit it and change it up as you wish so pretty cool this allows for you to change your text how you want to change it. But keep in mind that we no longer have the text options over here because it is now a mesh and no longer a text object. But again, if you want to, you know, have a font in there and then tweak it a bit, that would be the way to do it. Uh, but keep in mind that you won't have the options to do it anymore. All right, so that is the text uh, functions in Blender. Pretty cool, very useful. Hope this video helps you. I'll see you in the next one. And once again, take care. Let me know if you guys have any questions or ladies have any questions for future tutorials or any help that you guys need. And uh, keep on blending, my blender maniacs. Uh, keep making awesome projects. Let me know what you're working on. Uh, head on over to Facebook, Blender Mania. Also, keep an eye out. I'm going to be releasing a course very shortly on the complete basics from A to Z on how to do Blender. It's going to be a set of uh, a lot of different videos and just the whole package of using Blender. So uh, look out for that. should be out shortly in the next couple days or weeks, and it's going to be really awesome. And like I said three times already, look out for it. It's going to be out soon. Uh, with that, appreciate you. Have an amazing uh, day, and I'll see you soon. All right. Once again, Alex Korobard here, signing out. See you in the next video. Ciao. Au revoir.